May 29th, June 11th, New Style. The memory of the Holy Fool for Christ John, wonder worker of Ustug. The blessed John was born to pious parents, Sava and Natalia, in the vicinity of the great city of Ustug, in the village called Puhava, situated on the other side of the river known as the Suhona, where the ancient city of Ustug was located. From a young age, he displayed extraordinary self-discipline. On Wednesdays and Fridays he ate nothing, and on other days he subsisted only on bread and water. He spent his nights in prayer without sleep, and always wore a sad and compassionate expression, leading those who saw him to believe that he was not in his right mind. Blessed John continued this behavior persistently, despite his mother's numerous attempts to persuade him to change his lifestyle. When she said, My child, do not torment your body by abstaining from food. Such severe abstinence may cause you illness. Do not force me, my mother, the boy replied. Abstinence will save me from sins. What sins do you have, my child? his mother asked, at such a young age. We see only God's grace in you, and no sins. To this the boy replied to his mother. Mother, stop speaking such words. Listen to what the scripture says. Let no one boast in himself of his sinlessness. Sinless is only God. And also... Food will not commend us to God. Therefore, let us not indulge our bodies, lest they become our enemies. With these words, the blessed John persuaded his mother. Though he was illiterate, he was taught by the grace of the Holy Spirit. As the prophet said, I will go in the strength of the Lord God. I will make mention of your righteousness, of yours only. After this, the blessed John's father moved from the village of Puhava to the nearby city of Arletz on the Yuga River and passed away there. Then his mother went to the former monastery of the Holy Trinity, took the monastic vows, and was soon elected as the abbess of the monastery. She always had her son with her, and he, seeing the vanity of this world, took on the appearance of a fool for Christ and his mother, seeing his behavior, left him to the will of God. After this, the venerable John left the monastery and settled near the cathedral of the Darmitian of the Most Holy Theotokos, in the church guardroom. Vigilant at night, he offered unceasing prayers to the Lord, and during the day he behaved like a fool for Christ. He usually rested on manure and walked completely naked, wearing only a tattered garment around his waist but when he had to put on a shirt, it was always old and never washed. He endured much abuse, mockery, and beatings from the frivolous people, constantly suffered hunger and thirst, yet he took nothing from anyone. Once, due to the winter cold, he climbed into a very hot oven, lying on the burning coals as if on a bed, and suffered no harm from it. Additionally, he healed the wife of a certain prince named Theodore, called Krasny, the red, and a princess named Maria, from fever. After living such a life, the blessed John, upon learning of his departure to the Lord, prayed for the whole world, made a sign of cross over himself, and lying on the ground, surrendered his holy soul into the hands of God. This occurred in the year 1494, on the twenty-ninth day of May. The Venerable One was buried near the church, and he works miracles for those who turn to him with faith.